Hey everyone, Ken Surfs here and it's time for another shave. This one is a collaboration between three companies, uh, Strike Gold Shave, uh, Peacemakers Shave or Pomade, and Heritage Collection Shaving. And what they have is a product called, or a, a release called La Bafania. And I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And I, since when there's a collaboration, all of the products didn't show up at once. I got the brush first, I got the uh, aftershave and the shave soap, then I got the pomade. And they asked if I could do the shave with all of the products together. And I said, sure. So let me pause a second. I'm gonna show you an unboxing of what these items look like, and then we're gonna start the shave. All right, I had to show you the presentation. It's just a little bit harder to do in the shaved in or bathroom than it is right out here. So I can kind of show you what uh, is in the La Bafana collection. There is a pomade from Peacemakers Pomade. Look at that, nice and matching. I'll have to be trying some of this on my hair in a short while, but that is from, that is the pomade from Peacemakers Pomade. Then from the Heritage Collection Shaving. There we go. Crimson red, look at that. Nice match. Now you can see the red. It's a little lighter in this room than the last video I did nice badger brush. Looking forward to trying this out. Here we go. And I'll show you why I needed to be out here when I open this. All right. Now, Frank Sinatra is probably going to own my video now because uh, that was playing in the background. <laughs> All right. Here is a nice document with the story. I'm kind of going to scroll through here so you can kind of see. Very nice parchment paper. Very nice calligraphy. All right. Here we go with the soap. Very nice scent. It's got lavender, lemon, bergamot, orange, cinnamon, jasmine, tobacco. I'll have the whole list of the scents in the description of this video. Very nice. I do like the wrapping too. I understand their first batch of this sold out. So uh, I believe the second batch is gonna be ready. I have a sharper knife now. <laughs> the other one's going back to Benchmade to get sharpened. Here we go. 100 milliliters. Very nice. They do not want this to leak. You know what? I'll open this up in the shaved end now that we've got this all unpacked. We're ready to rock. All right, back to the den. All right, well, I've actually put some of the pomade in my hair and I like it because I brushed through after it dried a bit and it's given me a little bit of the dry look, which I like. So we'll see how long this holds today and I will report back to you on that. But that was from Peacemakers Pomade, right there. Very nice. It's good to get that stuff on when it's wet. Right. What I've noticed is some of the pomades, like uh, the Suavecito, or it, it, they stay in for a long time, and you got to wash several times to get rid of them. Uh, and actually, uh, they perform after several washes too. So we'll see how good this lasts, and I will report back to you on that. But right now, I'm pretty impressed with it. All right, so we are going to be using La Bafana shave soap. 
Very nice. Nice hard shave soap, so we'll be able to uh, uh, whip it up right outside, right inside of this. I'm going to be using, look at this, this is a replica of the Cleanzo from Heritage Collection Shaving. Put this in the uh, Crystal Skull right now. It's a really nice badger, and I really like the crimson red handle. Let me get some of the water out of there. I really like that crimson red handle. I don't know if you can see it. It's very nice, very nice. So we'll have that in there. And I'm gonna be using the Mercure Progress. I've got it set at uh, two and a half. We'll see how it does. I've got the uh, Wilkinson Sword Gillette Blade in there, and I already cut myself loading it, if you can believe it. So uh, with these, You've got to see there's a notch on the top cap and there's an arrow there. You've got to make sure you're lined up or you're not going to get a good shave. Same with the Parker variant. Let me see if I have that. Uh, where'd I put the Parker variant? Anyway, there's a line and a notch that need to line up on that too. So when you're using these adjustables, make sure that you get that line lock notched up. All right. Last but not least, the aftershave. Very nice smell. A lot of, I smell citrus in there. All right, I think we're ready to go. How is your week going? We're halfway through it, you know, seven days till Christmas. Time flies. Time flies. But I'm on vacation, so I'm enjoying it. And I'm a, about an hour away from going to the movies with uh, my cousin and a friend of mine. We're going to go see Knives Out. So that should be pretty good. All right. Oh, if you guys didn't know, I was very happy to hear from one of the viewers that Nick Shaves has made another video. His first video in over a year. Apparently, he's doing pretty good. He's... Uh, you know, working as a doctor now, he's got the new kid, he's, you know, doing very well. So if you get a chance, check out his channel. It's good to see Nick back. Man, this is really a firm brush. Got a lot of backbone. And the soap is doing quite well. All right, I'm gonna make it thicker. You just have to have patience with this stuff. Some people like the soap thin. Let's see if I can keep it out of the ear. Some people don't like to see the circular motions. Man, there's a lot of soap in there. It's a lather hog. Way to go, Neil. You got a lather hog on you. Perfect. Kept it almost at. <laughs> All right. Nice and slick. Okay, let's see how two and a half works on this. Nice bite to it. Wristwatch check. The Seiko Arnie. Really enjoying that watch. There we go. Soap sure does smell good. It's very slick. The brush delivered it good. Now if I can keep myself from cutting myself. I had a hard time with the Mercure future, future under the nose here, but the progress here seems to do just fine. Yeah, the progress definitely seems to do just fine.
I haven't been using these adjustables too often lately, so it, it's nice to get them back in a routine, a rotation. So did you guys see Knives Out? What's your thoughts? Star Wars starts Friday. Should be quite good. All right, God's quiet in it. My wife and daughter and son are at work, so it's a real vacation. Very nice. Very nice. Of course, now I've got it all over my hands. <laughs> now, I've never tried these products before. I don't work for these companies. I try them out the first time in front of you. We'll see how it works for me. Sometimes the blades don't work. Sometimes the soap doesn't work. Sometimes it dissolves. And you see it all for the first time. But genuinely, if it works for me, I have no complaints so far. I'm waiting to see if that alcohol or that aftershave is alcohol based and if it has a burn. We'll see. Oh, one little nick. Well, the weather's been pretty good in Southern California. Take a look at this. This is what it looked like down at the beach yesterday. So uh, we are spoiled here. Check this out. Not bad, huh? But that water's cold. <laughs> Only those surfers would be out there in that. All right. Wow. All right. The products seem to work good. All the products seem to work good. Let's try this. I really didn't look at the ingredients. I don't know if there's alcohol in here. Not a bad burn. Very mild, so I do feel a bit of a sting, a bit of a burn, but not that bad at all. My face is healing up, <laughs> slow but sure, good old dermatologist. All right, well, it worked for me. Whether it works for you, you'll have to see. Again, if you get a chance, take a look in the description of this video. You can always go take a look at their sites. And uh, for me, the collaboration worked very nice. All right, everybody. We'll see you all again real soon. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas coming up. We'll look forward to another video real soon. Till next time. It's Ken Sarah saying have a great night.